Hello, and welcome to my pitch for Chrono Squad. In this game, you play as a soldier that must battle against rogue AIs in turn based combat. For every couple of turns, the enemy is able to send you forwards in time, allowing them the time to repair their units and to reinforce them with additional units. What makes someone to play it? Well, you must battle against rogue AIs and the robot legions in turn based combat while dealing with the threat of having to jump forward in time every couple of turns. Basic rules. You win the level once you destroy the enemy AI. You have every couple of turns you have to jump forwards in time. You can't stop this. And every time you jump forward in time, it allows the enemy the chance to repair its units and reinforce them with additional units. Who are your enemies? Well you have the rogue AI and the robot minions and time itself. The longer it takes you to complete the level, the more the enemy is able to reinforce its units and repair them. So time itself is your enemy. Player decisions. You have the basics like who you're going to attack, which might not seem like that big of a deal, but let's say next turn is about to be a jump and you can defeat the turret this turn. So it can't heal next turn, because if it's still alive, it can heal. If it's dead, it can't. You can also decide to move, which might not seem like that big of a deal either, but let's say, boom, next turn there's going to be a laser wall there. So you might want to move forward instead of having next turn to deal with trying to get through the laser wall because you're already going to be on the other side of it. You also have what ability you're going to bring, like a grenade which allows an area of effect attack. You might want to dash to be able to move twice in a turn, a chronosphere which allows you to bring nearby enemies forwards in time with you, or you might want to be able to steal health from them to replenish your own health. Themes of this game include rogue AIs, robots, future tech, because of course this happens all in the future. Time jumping. Your soldiers are specifically taught how to deal with time jumping and they're equipped for it because they're a paramilitary group. That's all they deal with. And allows you more freedom with how each character is going to act. What would the game look like? Well it would be a top down game with 3D objects on a 2D plane with simple enemy designs with the only humanoid things on the screen being the humans which makes it easier to animate. What about the competition? Well, we have similar games like XCOM 2 and Invisible Inc. What makes us different? We are much smaller in scope than XCOM 2 because we have set levels. You must play your way through the levels, but once you get to the end of it, that's it. There's no character progression. You just unlock more levels. That's it. It makes it simpler. What are the play possibilities? We have strategic gameplay with the turn-based combat and with dealing with jumping forwards in time. You must strategize for that accordingly. You also have replayability because once you finish the level, you know what's going to happen in it. And you might want to try doing it again to do better at it. What are the risks involved? Well, making a fun combat system. But we want to make the combat system fun in itself. We're not needing all this other stuff. Also, you might not have enough unique levels. We want each level to feel different than the previous one, not just feel like reskins of each other. We also want the difficulty to properly increase with each level, not just adding in one extra unit you must fight. We want to properly scale the difficulty. We also want good enemy AI so they provide an appropriate challenge for the player. We also want unique enemies so that all the enemies don't feel like just harder versions of the previous ones. We also want different characters with different abilities and that could be a risk. We might not be able to have enough time to do all of those things. We're working to make the combat system and the mechanics of the game itself.